Hi everybody, this is Fox Nomad and today I want to help you travel smarter by reviewing the Air Travel Pack 2 road tested after 6 months of continuous use and travel. So this is a bag that I've been using on a regular basis and I really loved it. And I still really like this bag, but there are a couple of shortcomings which made me decide that it might not be the ideal travel bag for me. And here are some reasons why it might not be the ideal travel bag for you. So starting out with the good, the design of this bag is just, it's the sleekest looking bag I think I've ever used. It looks really good. It fits into all sorts of scenarios. So if you're using this as a daily carry or if you're going to school or if you're using this as a travel bag, it can sort of fit in any of those categories. It looks a little bit utilitarian, it looks a little bit sleek. So it's got a kind of a sort of influence from all of these different looks, which makes this a great bag, but definitely stands out in a very nice and subtle way. So it's a great backpack. It can be used or the design can be used in a lot of different situations. It's not a bag that screams, hey, I've got expensive things in me, but does look pretty sleek if you're using it in and around town. In terms of durability, this bag has held up very well. The outside nylon is very strong. It's held its color over this long period of time. There are no scratches or discolorations, so the bag is held up very well. The zippers on the outside are also really good at protecting against getting water in there. There's one thing that I'll note though, is the bag when you fill it up full, which is what I tended to do with this bag. When you fill it up full, you start to notice the stitching around the zippers. You can see them holding on for dear life and nothing popped out, nothing tore, but I wonder how well that would hold up over a long period of time if you're the type of person that's filling your bag to capacity on every single trip. So going into the interior of this bag, it has a really great laptop compartment. It's very spacious, which I like. It's very easy to slip your laptop in and out of this bag, especially when it's full in the front compartment, which a lot of bags don't make that quite as easy as it should be. But what all that extra padding means is that it eats space up from the internal compartment. And what I mean by that is this bag looks very deep from the outside and it is fairly deep, but a significant portion of that is eaten up by the padding that's in between the laptop compartment and the main compartment. There's also no false bottom in the laptop and what that means is when you put the laptop in the laptop compartment, it's gonna go all the way down to the bottom of the bag. What that means is every time you put your bag down, if you drop your bag, it's gonna have impact on the laptop. So a lot of bags have what's called a false bottom built into them, which sort of keeps the laptop up maybe just a few centimeters from the actual bottom of the bag. It eats a little bit away from the usable space in the bag, but it protects your laptop from taking the brunt of any kind of major drop or just sort of the regular putting down your bag which you do all the time it protects your laptop the air travel pack 2 doesn't have that but it's so well padded otherwise that I didn't feel like this was an issue but if you've got a sensitive laptop that might be something to consider one thing that I never quite got over though are those compression straps that are on the outside of the bag every time you unzip this bag the main compartment which is probably going to be every time you actually use this bag every time you unzip that main compartment your hands are going to get stuck around those compression straps and it's really annoying it's just it looks cool when you use the compression straps it looks cool when you're walking around but when you actually need to get in and out of the bag i found it very cumbersome and it's just i wish they would figure out a way to use those compression straps so that they weren't actually in the way of the zippers on the main compartment. And if you're using this as a daily carry bag, you're gonna probably have to do what I did every time I use this bag, which is roll down that bottom shoe compartment, sort of smush it down so that you can have one main compartment that doesn't have any kind of cumbersome dividers or anything like that. This is one thing about this bag which really frustrated me as well because I don't use this as a typical travel bag. In other words, I'm not carrying shoes and clothes mainly. I'm using this as a daily carry. I'm using this as a travel bag. I've got a lot of camera, lenses, microphone, all that stuff. So I tend to put a lot of electronics in my bags. They don't really want the, the shoe pocket eating away at that. Rolling down that shoe compartment did work out fine, but it does kind of, again, eat away at the space. Whereas this is a 33 liter bag, it tends to be a little bit on the bigger side of 33 liters in terms of the dimensions, 
but when you add up all the pocket space, the padding, if you include the quick grab pocket on the top, which sort of eats into a little bit of space in the main compartment, it's not quite as big or spacious as some other 33 liter bags. Again, if you're using this as a travel bag and you wanna get the biggest 33 liter bag you can get, this Air Travel Pack 2 might not be it. If you do travel frequently, like on business trips where you need a couple of shirts, pants, and you always have an extra pair of shoes with you, then that travel compartment on the bottom is great. One other thing that I'll add about that travel compartment is what I noticed is every time that I use this bag after a couple of carries, so take the bag on, put the bag off, that kind of thing, that bottom compartment would sort of start to unzip. And I could see where you were traveling and if you got some heavy shoes or heavy items in there, I could see that opening up. So if you have anything small in there, it's probably gonna fall out. So just use it for larger stuff. And on another end, I did kind of think about this, like if somebody wanted to pickpocket you and was going for a full on no stealth mode, just trying to get stuff out of your bag. I've had this happen to me before on my travels. So I could see somebody just kind of grabbing that bottom zipper and just pulling it open and grabbing something in there. It's a part of the bag that you're probably not gonna be too aware of because of the way it sits low on your back. That's not a place where you're gonna feel somebody getting into your bag. On the flip side, this bag does have a top quick grab pocket, which I love and I wish more bags would include. I wish more bags had a quick grab pocket on the very top of the bag instead of on the front. The front is kind of, uh, you know, useless because it's really easily accessible to thieves and pickpockets. You want your valuables to be close to you. And on top of the bag, it's very accessible, but it's also a hard place for a pickpocket to be able to grab your things. So I know it seems like I'm complaining a lot about the design of this bag, but I really like the design of this bag. It just has a couple of flaws, which I didn't find personally ideal. One thing I will say that I really did like about the design of this bag is how comfortable it is. This bag, really even when you fill it up to capacity, is very easy on your back and your shoulders. It has the compression straps. It also has an optional hip strap if you want to get those. I don't like using hip straps. I find them kind of bulky and not really efficient when you're traveling. So it's 33 liters. You can easily stuff this bag. The exterior nylon and the interior padding is really designed to take a kind of harsh treatment. You don't have to really baby this bag. Even though it looks so sleek and designer, this bag can really handle a lot of use. So most travelers are gonna tend to fill it up. And what that means is that this bag is gonna be heavy most of the time, but it's really comfortable and it distributes the weight very well. It's also very comfortable on the back, so it does a good job of aerating so you don't sweat too much. And one thing I like about the back of this bag, which I've noticed on a lot of bags, aren't quite as good so when they have that mesh on the back to help your back breathe what that does is it's really rough on clothing if you've noticed that your shirts sort of get this kind of rough edging or sort of abrasive sort of feel to them after a while of using a bag a big chance of that a big reason of that is probably going to be that meshing on the back of a lot of these bags cheaper bags or bags that aren't quite designed as well tend to use meshing with larger openings on the back and what that means is it's going to kind of bunch your clothes up in there and very quickly it's going to start to cause this rough edge on the back of your clothes kind of at your lower back Overall though, as a road tested after six months, this bag has done an excellent job. It's held up extremely well. It looks brand new and I've used this pretty much every day and almost always I am filling it up with really heavy gear. There are no nicks or scratches on the outside. The zippers have held up pretty well, even though you can kind of see the stitching when the bag is like really at capacity. If this six month mark is any indication, then this bag, which does come with a premium price, is gonna be a very good investment. If you can get over the small design features which didn't really sit well with my travel style or my gear, which is mainly the shoe compartment at the bottom and maybe the thickness of the back laptop compartment which eats into the main compartment space. If you can get around those issues, you don't mind having a larger, taller bag. So this is a taller bag. It's kind of narrow and a little bit deeper. 
if that fits your body style then this is going to be a really good bag for you to pick up and definitely hold up over a lot of time and a lot of travel let me know what you think of the air travel pack 2 in the comments below if you have any questions feel free to let me know down there as well and hey while you're down there hit the like and subscribe buttons i'll have new videos for you every week thanks again for watching and i will see you in the next video is it's got a great laptop compartment which can hold this entire video has been an audio nightmare thanks for watching bye